morning and welcome back to another completely original idea. Wow, no one's ever done a Q&A before. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I asked on Instagram and on the YouTube community page, because that's a thing apparently, if you had any questions for Yoshi and myself. And I got a whole bunch of questions and it was really nice, but actually on the last day, basically we ran out of time and I couldn't find a place to film it. And it just, I'm really sorry, but we didn't get around to filming it. And I feel really bad about that. And I'm so sorry. Instead of that, I've just decided to take all of the questions that were meant just for me and ask for any more questions that anyone has just for me. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do that instead. I'm sorry, I hope that's okay. Also, yeah, I've decided to stand up in these videos. I very clearly don't have like a, a proper setup for my, my talking videos, but at the moment I'm standing up and I feel very, very free and open. Also, I'm not wearing pants, but you can't tell. Yeah, onto the questions. So, first question, do you know Taiwan? I know of Taiwan. Hey you guys, I love your videos so much and my question is if you could visit any place in the whole world, where would it be? Top of my list right now is Iceland. I really, really, really want to go to Iceland. Do you make any plans to have a meetup with your subscribers somewhere in Tokyo? I would, I, I like honestly haven't really thought about it that much and I think that's just because, I don't know, I think just like one of my biggest fears is to be like, hey guys, I'm gonna do a meetup in Tokyo and then I get there and there's like literally two people. So that's why I think I would wait until like, later down the road before I do like a meetup somewhere. But maybe I will, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you if you wanna have a meetup in Tokyo. How do you get enough money to travel around the world? Well, for starters, my job takes me around the world depending on where the job is and like all of that. So I work full time at the moment, which means I don't get a lot of time for travel, but traveling in Asia, at least in like Southeast Asia, travel is really cheap. And then like the hotels and food and everything in those countries is also really cheap. I think people think that travel has to be like crazy expensive and you have to spend like thousands of dollars, but I don't know, I've gone on like amazing trips and literally only spent like $300. Hannah, do you have a PO box? I don't currently have a PO box, but my, my YouTube agency, they have an address in which people can send stuff to and then they can send it to me because then it keeps my address safe. I guess like, if you want to send me something, don't send me like like expensive things. But if you want to send me like a card or like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know how to like word this, but yeah, if you would like to um, send me something, I'll put the, the, the address in the description below. What do you do in Japan? What is your job? Um, I'm not really allowed to talk about like exactly what I do, but basically I'm a performer. I perform in Tokyo. My experience in the past has been working at large theme parks. So if you do the math, it's not too hard to figure out where it is, but I won't say exactly where, like just in case, I don't know, but it's pretty easy to figure out, especially if you follow me on Instagram, so. What is your favorite place so far and why? By the way, I like your videos a lot. Cheers from France. Thank you. Favorite place so far has to be the Philippines. Oh my gosh, the Philippines was so amazing. Where did you learn how to film and edit? Uh, I didn't like learn from anything in particular. I guess like, if I'm honest, I took film and TV as a subject when I was in high school, but that I literally did it because I was like, I like movies, that sounds pretty easy. I guess I mainly learned from copying people, <laughs> to be honest. I started vlogging because I really liked Casey Neistat's videos. So if you go to my early, like early, early, early videos, they're very, very similar to Casey Neistat. And I feel like it's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at the start to, to copy someone or imitate someone's style that you really like, as long as it doesn't stay like that. Because the more videos you make, eventually you'll figure out your own style, the kinds of content stuff that you want to make. I mainly just learned from like copying Casey Neistat, to be honest, and then just practice, 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 practice. What is the first thing you want to experience when you arrive in a different country town? For me, I always try the fast food items and see if they're different from what I'm used to. To be honest, I think like usually when I go overseas, I go into like a grocery store or a convenience store and I just, I have, I don't know, I'm like fascinated to see like what kinds of foods they have there and like what are their snacks like? I don't know, maybe I just like snacks too much. <laughs> uh, what's your dream camera? Ooh, uh, a camera like the one that I've got right now, the Canon 77D, it's a great camera, but a little bit smaller and lighter and also does slow-mo, that's my dream camera. Actually, that's probably just like a, one of the Sony Micro Four Third cameras. I should maybe just get one of them. What's your favorite places in Japan and Australia? My favorite place in Japan is Mia. Oh no, what's it called? 
Miyakojima. There you go. Uh, favorite place in Australia? Either Melbourne or Ely Beach was really beautiful. That was that was stunning. I've probably seen more of Japan than I've seen of Australia. How did you learn Japanese? Mainly just from listening a lot. I think I I used I. La la can't speak English at the moment. I think I learn a lot from like listening and then just asking questions. Also learning like helpful phrases like how do you say this in Japanese? Like, learning that phrase in Japanese because then you can ask that to anyone and you can learn wherever you are. I didn't like, I never went to a, a learning school or anything. But that's probably why my Japanese isn't amazing. Hannah, what pocket Wi-Fi do you have? Well, funny you should ask that. This is my pocket Wi-Fi that I have. It's from a company called iVideo. You can share one device between up to 10 people. It's really cheap, super fast internet, and I would highly recommend it to anyone ever. So you can use my discount code HANNAH for 10% off daily plans on a pocket Wi-Fi. The link is in the description below. And no one actually asked me that question. I just did that so that I could um, advertise my pocket Wi-Fi. Moving on. What places do you recommend people should visit while in Brisbane, Queensland? You should in Brisbane. <laughs> We just go to South Bank. Oh. <laughs> Brisbane's great. Brisbane's a great, a great place. I haven't lived, lived, lived there in a long time. Uh, yeah, South Bank is actually really pretty in the main like city area. Uh, and Queensland in general, the Gold Coast is amazing, obviously. And uh, recently, Yoshi and I went to Ely Beach, and that was like so stunning. So Ely Beach, like Cairns kind of area, the water in that place is just beautiful. So nice. All right, now to some Instagram questions. Can I be in the vlog? Well, that's very Casey Neistat of you. Uh, yes, you can. Hi, Hannah. I have two questions. Hannah, what is your absolute favorite Japanese food? Well, it's kind of hard because when I first moved here, I wasn't vegan, so I could just like eat whatever. But now I'm vegan, so like the 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 pool of food, the pool of food, the, <laughs> the options of food get a little bit smaller. Um, at the moment, I'm kind of ooh, I'm kind of obsessed with this thing that I can get at Lawson's. This is so good. Hold on. So it's this thing. It's called. Um, Go, go something should I eat? I don't, I don't actually know how to pronounce it, but it's salad dressed with tofu, white sesame, and white miso. It's, it's basically like a bunch of veggies mixed in a thing, mixed up with like tofu and like sesame and meat. Oh, ugh, it's so good, it's so good. And it's vegan, so yeah, I always eat these like every single day. If you could visit any state in the US, which would it be and why? I really want to go to Texas, actually. I've been to like California and New York. Is New York a state? I think it is. I'm hoping it's a state. <laughs> yes, I've been to those ones already and Utah as well. But yeah, I've got some friends from Texas and they, they s said it's it's lovely. So yeah, I'd like to go to Texas one day. Uh, now that you've hit 50K, oh yeah, I hit 50K. Thank you so much for everyone who subscribed recently. Yeah, that's a, it's a, it's a, a big number that I didn't think that I would hit so soon. So yeah, wow, I just said so, so many times. Stop it. Now that you've hit 50K, will this be a full-time gig in the future? I am actually hoping that it will be. Not really the near future because my job here is on a contract basis and I've still got a while left of it, but hopefully after that, I would like it to be a full-time gig. Maybe, maybe. Do you have any piercings other than your ears? Ooh, a saucy question. I've got two piercings in my ears. I, I actually never really wear earrings, so they're kind of useless, but I also have my belly button pierced. Scandalous. I got it pierced when I was like a teenager and I don't feel the need to wear a belly ring anymore. So that was uh, not a dumb choice. I'm glad I did it, but yeah, now I've got a hole in my belly button that I, I don't need. <laughs> um, any tips on learning Japanese? Uh, ask questions. Ask questions. Hana-chan wa tattoo iretemasu I probably read that wrong, but I know that it says Hana-chan, do you, Hana, Hana, do you have any tattoos? Uh, I don't have any tattoos, no. And in my line of work, as a performer at least, tattoos, getting tattoos aren't really like the best idea just because some companies don't like you to have any tattoos, so that is why I don't have any. What if we liken each other to animals? Oh, okay, okay, so like if I was an animal, what animal would I be? My brother actually used to say that uh, my spirit animal is a mountain goat, and I completely agree. Because he's like, because they've got really skinny legs and they just like jump around everywhere, but they, they're still kind of weird. 
that's me. So Julie Trex came up with so many great questions. Hannah, how do you keep your makeup at work and in your free time alive during summer? Do you perhaps not wear foundation? Your skin seems very nice, so I always imagined you do not. That is so kind of you. <laughs> so I've actually got really bad skin, but you can't really see it because this camera is really good for one, and also I wear a lot of foundation. I don't wear a lot of foundation, but I basically whenever I'm filming these videos, I wear foundation because if I don't, then everybody, everyone likes to comment on how tired I look and how bad my skin is. So yeah, I don't really have very good skin. But how do I keep it alive in summer? Powder? I don't know, I'm not really the best person to ask for like makeup advice because I'm not like a makeup guru or anything, but I think because in my work I have to wear a lot of makeup, so maybe that's why it breaks out so often. I don't know, it's been a problem that I've been trying to work through for a very long time, so. Who knows? Who knows why it's so bad? Hannah and Yoshi! Oh, this is a question for both of us, but I guess I'll answer it this time. What's your favorite interior decoration design? Basically, I want my room to look like an Apple store. So <laughs> that's why, like, in my, my Tokyo apartment tour, everything is just very bare and, and, and empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be more of a minimalist these days, so yeah, there's not a, a huge amount of things in my room. What are you looking forward to most right now? I'm looking forward to Halloween season. Halloween is so fun in Japan. Oh, and also next week, I'm not next week, like a couple weeks, I'm gonna go to Hokkaido, pretty sure. So I'm really excited for that, that's gonna be fun. Oh, these are tough. Do you have any life goals? Life goals, wow. I really wanna own my own company one day, like a some kind of company, business. Something like that. Is there any advice you'd give for solo travel? I would say it's not as scary as you think it is if you have common sense. <laughs> I think people always think that solo travel is gonna be really dangerous and stuff like that, but I feel, in my opinion, anywhere in the world could be dangerous, including right outside your doorstep. So it just depends how you carry yourself and where you go. So if you have common sense, I think you'll be fine. But what age do you feel right now and why? I feel about 20, 21? Not 20. How did you know you wanted to move to Japan slash China and how did you know you would like it if you even did? Can we have more background about your decision to move to Japan slash China? Well, I don't I don't live in China, so there's that. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that I wanted to move to Japan. I originally first moved here like six years ago to perform at Universal Studios in Osaka. For me, it was like, I wanna get that job and it just so happens to be in Japan. But well, that's why I moved here. And then when I got here, I was like, oh, okay, I actually really love this place. Uh, so having been in Tokyo for a few months, is there anything now you miss about Singapore or do you still feel like you've had your fill for now? I miss the green in Singapore. There's so much green and it was, it's so beautiful. I, I really, really love that Singapore is so great green and tropical and bright colored. I didn't talk about this much, but when I was, by the end of the time that I was living in Singapore, I was really, actually really unhappy with a lot of things. And I, I thought at the time it was because I didn't like Singapore, but I realized later that it's because I, I, I wasn't happy with the work that I was doing there. And uh, like, meaning the, the company that I was working for. So, oh, oh dear, just, and it's dissing the tea. What, dissing the tea? Do people say that? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm saying too much, but, yeah, so for me personally, when I think of Singapore, I don't have a like a really positive feeling. It doesn't, I don't get a positive feeling, but I don't think that's because of Singapore itself. But it's more just my, the memory that I have of it, I guess. Yeah, I didn't really, I never talked about that before, but I was very unhappy there. How do you handle all of Yoshi's muscle? <laughs> With two hands. <laughs> Where would you like to see your career in YouTube take you? This is from my friend, Coral. Hey, Coral. I don't know, the idea of having like, I'm not like aiming like a million subscribers, I wanna have all of the all of the views and stuff like that. I, I don't know, that doesn't like appeal to me. Like that would be great, obviously, I'm not saying I don't want people to watch my videos. I'm not aiming for mass numbers of people or anything. I would like my videos to inspire people to travel more. I eventually, maybe the company that I spoke about earlier, maybe that company will be something to do with YouTube or f coming from my YouTube channel channel or yeah yeah I want to I want to create a company that makes it easier for people to travel I think oh getting into some announcements not really announcements but my kind of like general ideas at the moment um, how often do you cook at home for like all basically all of my dinners in a week like I cook at home for sure But for lunch if I don't have time to make it in the morning like today I'll probably just buy it from a convenience store. I just buy like salad and beans or something It's <laughs> So exciting. I wanted to ask how you mustered the courage to work as an entertainer abroad Were your parents anxious at first? Well, actually when I was 17 I graduated school when I was 17 and then the next year I was like I'm moving to Sydney because there was a performing arts college there I told my parents 
parents, I really want to go there. And luckily my parents are very supportive. They've always been really supportive of anything that I want to do. So they just had to trust that I was going to be okay and trust that I was going to be make smart choices and all of that. So I guess that was kind of like an easier transition because then when I got the job in Osaka in Japan, my parents knew that that was like one of my dream jobs to get. So they were happy to send me off overseas. And because it's it's working for a company like Universal Studios, like they they look after the employees very well and they keep us very safe and everything's just like easy. It, it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's easy. It's an easy kind of way to live in Japan, I think. So my parents were really nervous about it, I don't think. Hi, Hannah, what is your height and weight? What's your workout routine like? Are you naturally flexible? I like how fit and healthy looking you are. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you because I sometimes don't like how I look. My height, I'm 168 centimeters, 167 depending on the job I'm trying to get. <laughs> I don't really weigh myself anymore just because it just makes me focus on that kind of thing too much and it's not, it doesn't put me in like a healthy mindset so I don't really weigh myself anymore. I work out when I can, like when I have a, a morning off, although like today I'm filming instead of working out so that's not a good idea. If I go to work out, I'll do weight training and I'll do that maybe like three or four times a week, hopefully. Hopefully, depending on my schedule. But I also ride my bike to work every day. I kind of do a lot of walking around, so that kind of helps, I guess. But I guess I was kind of naturally flexible since I was a kid, but I did a lot of like training and practice since then to keep my flexibility. I've also got like mild scoliosis in my back, so it's a little bit like curved like this. And so it means that in like one point in my back, it just kind of like, like folds in half. Oh, this is a question I got ages ago, but it's a really good question. In a theoretical situation, you're doing a performance job, say as a Disney princess, and someone from the crowd recognizes you and says, hey, aren't you Hannah? I'm a fan of your vlog. Would you be able to acknowledge that? By the way, great channel. Thank you for a wonderful question. So, theoretically, 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 if I was to work in a theme park, if someone was to say, Hannah, I watch a YouTube channel, or Hannah, I know you in some way, something to do with my name, I definitely would not be able to acknowledge that. Theoretically, of course, but yeah, no. So, theoretically, if you did see me at my place of work, please do not call out my name. Theoretically, you know, if I was to work in a, in a park like that, uh, yeah. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> yes, that's basically why we're doing finger guns. That's all that I've got time for. Time for. I've already filmed like 30 minutes of questions. Thank you so much for sending in all your questions. I'm really sorry if I didn't get to answer all of them. Um, Cause I actually ended up getting quite a lot of questions, which is really nice. Nice to know that people care about who I am and, and what I'm about. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe. So yeah, let me know in the comments below as well, any other kinds of content that you'd like to see from Tokyo, Japan and I'll try and get around to it even though I really don't have enough time to, to film a lot but I'll try my best if you like this video I've already said that stop talking you follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time bye